Russia will struggle to maintain its military campaign and Ukraine may be able to hit back, the head of Britain's Foreign Intelligence Service Richard Moore says. MI6 chief Richard Moore said that Russia had seen epic falls in its initial goals, such as removing Ukraine's president, capturing Kyiv, and sowing disunity in the West. He was speaking at the Aspen Security Forum in a rare public appearance. He called the invasion the most egregious naked act of aggression in Europe since the Second World War. He said that recent Russian gains were tiny and Russia was about to run out of steam. Mr. Moore told the conference in Colorado that the assessment of MI6 is that the Russians will increasingly find it difficult to find manpower and material over the next few weeks. They will have to pose in some way and that will give the Ukrainians the opportunity to strike back. That view may be seen as optimistic and Ukraine's ability to counterattack may well depend on greater supplies of western weaponry which its officials say has often been too slow in arriving. He said that a further reason to maintain support to help the Ukrainians win or at least negotiate from a position of significant strength was because China's leader Xi Jinping was watching like a hawk. Around 400 Russian intelligence officers operating undercover have been expelled across Europe, reducing Russia's ability to spy in the continent by half. On China, he said that MI6 never had any illusions whatsoever about communist China. He revealed MI6 now devoted more effort to China than to any other single subject, the effort in this field having just moved past that devoted to counter-terrorism. He said that it was too early to tell what lessons China would draw from Putin's success in Ukraine. But there were lots of science officials in Beijing were going into overdrive to work out what they thought. It is quite difficult to read at the moment. He said that it was important to remind China's leadership of how an invasion of Taiwan could go wrong. He said China's leadership underestimated US resolve and power and this might lead to miscalculate. On Iran, he said a nuclear deal was absolutely on the table. But he was skeptical that Iranian supreme leader wanted to sign a deal. For all the limitations, he said the previous deal was still the best means available to constrain the Iranian nuclear program. On being asked if the western withdrawal from Afghanistan last year made it harder to deal with threats, he acknowledged that this was a reverse for us when it happened and it is now more difficult. He said it would require finding different ways to deal with the Islamist terrorist threat including working with partners who MI6 may not normally deal with. On the state of politics and violence in the United States, the MI6 chief sidestepped the question but stressed his huge affection for the US where he had studied and taken his first paid job as a teenager.